So another one of my hobbies is woodworking and I wanted to show you my latest project that I started working on. Um, I decided to build a pirate ship. I am probably 30 hours into it uh, right now and it's made mostly out of uh, scrap wood uh, pine that I've had laying around. Uh, the bottom part here uh, is a 2 by 6 uh, I think I've cut maybe an inch and a half off of it. And uh, other scrap pieces, um, 5 8 glued on edge uh, boards, uh, a lot of miniature popsicle sticks and toothpicks. So uh, I wanted to kind of get a little bit of video of it before I got it all done. Uh, sometimes I have a bad habit of starting a project and not <laughs> filming uh, the first stages of it all. So unfortunately you, you get to see it halfway through. But um, I'm uh, getting close to finishing it. I probably got another 10 hours or so. Um, before I can start staining and painting it and stuff. So, well, let's uh, zoom in and we'll have a look at some of the details here. Here's the uh, front upper deck. And uh, this piece here is just about done. And uh, what I mean by that is I finished putting the... Uh, top part of the rail that hides the spindles. Um, as you can see back here on these ones, uh, you can see the toothpicks where I drilled the holes through. So I'll put a little top cap that hides all, all the holes and everything. So that deck is pretty much done. I'm not gluing any of them on yet. Uh, that top part's loose. And that way when it comes time um, for painting and staining, um, I'll be able to get a brush in underneath there. Uh, otherwise it'd be kind of hard to finish it. I'd just be making it harder on myself. So I'm going to not do that this time. Um, there'll be a mast coming out of here. Uh, out of the top deck for uh, the sails. And here is the top um, gun deck. I've made uh, miniature cannons to go um, on the top there. And there'll also be a mast probably somewhere right, right in here, right in the middle. And uh, kind of cruising on back. I guess you'd call that the second second tier maybe. Uh, once again it's loose, not glued or anything. The only thing I need to finish off is like I was saying before just the top cap there to hide the um, all the holes from the spindles. And there is the very top deck. Well I guess I should say right here I'm gonna have um, another mast. Uh, the third one right there. So, and once again I gotta finish up that deck with the top cap. Everything got uh, the little wooden sticks for the planking. The ladders are made out of the uh, little sticks and toothpicks. And one thing I found out uh, when researching pirate ships is, you know, the more um, little details you can add to it, the more uh, interesting it is to, to look at. And that's why I added a little bit of extra um, top cap to the railings and, you know, little uh, slats next to the gun ports and stuff like that. The more ornate, uh, the better it is. 
So, um, this here is a, a knot that kind of chipped out when I was sanding it, uh, when I had it on the belt sander. And speaking of the belt sander, that's how I was able to achieve um, this rounded part towards the back is uh, I have a um, electric belt sander and I just held it on the edge of it at a slight angle and uh, was able to achieve that look there. And uh, this piece here is just, uh, what would that be, probably quarter inch um, oak veneer that I sandwiched between there to um, so I could make this uh, little narrow piece underneath. So, and here's a look uh, at all the guns. I think there's, was there two, four, six, or seven on the bottom? And then there's uh, six openings on the top. And all those are, uh, they're just wooden dowels. And um, I chucked it in a small vise and then um, drilled down into each one of them uh, to kind of hollow them out, give them a little depth and dimension there. And that worked out pretty good. They aren't very long, they just, uh, they just come right out. And uh, eventually I'll just, I'll glue them in there, but I gotta paint them black and everything first. Uh, so they're just in there for looks. And a few things I gotta uh, finish up yet uh, before I can do the masts is I need to build, uh, kind of box this in uh, with a solid wall. Originally I was gonna do um, a, a spindle handrail, but I'm gonna make this a solid um, solid wall, just box this in like that. And then that will um, allow me to do um, some more of these vertical slats right through here. And I think that'll just look a little bit nicer um, when it comes time to stain it and paint it. Uh, I've still got various uh, trim pieces to, uh, to put in to kind of finish off some corners. It's, it's all in the detail, all in the little pieces that you put in there to make it uh, more interesting. Again, more trim pieces here. Uh, this is kind of like the living quarters. Um, and what I'm planning on doing with that is I'll have to take some more of these little sticks, sand them down, and actually trim, trim this out to make it look like uh, little windows. So that'll be kind of fun, a little tedious. Um, I've got a lot of work to do on the back deck here. I've got all the holes drilled and uh, so that'll have uh, the handrail go all the way around. And a little more trim work uh, to fill in around here. But all in all, I think at probably another 10 hours and I should be in good shape with it. Um, the masts are going to take a little bit of work. I'm going to build some uh, crow's nests and uh, the rigging, that's going to take a, uh, quite a while. And I still haven't figured out anything for the sails yet, uh, what type of material, but I'll find something. Um, and I still need to make the rudder. And I think I'm going to make that um, out of these uh, little sticks, the rudder. I saw a picture um, on the computer of one that had that, and it just looked kind of neat. Instead of making it out of solid wood, it'll have a little bit of dimension to it by using the sticks. The, uh, the base there uh, is a piece of solid oak. I haven't sanded it or anything, stained it, nothing like that yet. I figure I'll wait till the end. Uh, that's just regular 5-8 solid oak. The dowels are uh, solid oak as well. The color that I'm going to stain that is going to be, uh, what the heck is it called? I'll have to get back to you on that. 
it's the same color as uh, this display uh, stand here. Uh, special walnut, that's what it is. It's just kind of a nice um, medium brown uh, stain. And then of course I'll probably put three coats polyurethane on it to finish it off. So that, that'll be the base. So, well, I guess that's probably about all I can show you on it for now. Uh, until we get a little bit farther along on it. I'll probably I'll make another video um, when it's all finished with the masts and everything. Um, all the wood construction part is done. I'll probably make a video um, of that. And then, uh, then it'll be time to uh, stain it and paint it. I think I'm going to stain the bottom part um, this special walnut color so it'll kind of be a nice uh, medium to dark brown uh, on the bottoms. Uh, I think all these inset pieces here are probably going to be like a navy blue in color. And a lot of these raised uh, trim pieces I think I'm going to do in kind of an off-white. Um, maybe just a hint of like a cream color, you know, just a little off-white. Uh, I think that would look kind of nice. Um, I haven't decided on all the guns if I'm going to make them black or actually paint them brass. Uh, I haven't decided yet. It'd probably look pretty cool with brass. Have a little bit of uh, bling on it. So we'll see. So well I guess uh, that's about it for now. I was going to get a couple uh, guns set up on the uh, top gun deck too, just to kind of show you what those look like. So uh, I'll be right back. Okay, here is all eight of the um, cannons on the top of the gun deck there. Uh, they're all just uh, pine uh, bases, and again, the cannons are wooden dowels. I made these little uh, wheels. They're just wooden dowels and uh, the edges are kind of rounded. Cut them off thin and rounded the edges. So each one they'll go underneath uh, the gun cradles there. It's too much of a pain in the butt to try to set them all up uh, to show you at this time because uh, when I put these on there I just want to um, glue them in place then they won't uh, roll around and stuff. So um, I got a little bit of work left on those and uh, I guess I should mention um, the dimensions overall um, it's just a touch over 20 inches um, it's t about 20 and a quarter 20 and a half and I guess the overall height the tallest part about 8 inches to the top rail there uh, this portion is only about maybe six and a quarter, six and a half. And uh, so if the overall length is 20, uh, I think the top, the, the middle mast is going to be uh, about 18 and a half. This one here is going to be about an inch lower, about 17. Then the one that goes on this deck here will be about 16, I think. So the tallest one... Uh, 18 I'll knock an inch off for that one and two inches off from that one and that seems to give it about the right proportions so but that will be in another video so just wanted to kind of show you a little bit of what I was up to um, with building the pirate ship so we'll catch you later